well I've got to say uh, shalom to you in this video because I um, learned some very sad news um, today that uh, yesterday apparently um, a messianic Jew known as Aviad Cohen um, passed away which I know um, he's been going through um, a lot of rejection and different things but uh, very surprised um, the good news is of course that uh, Gorilla199 isn't dead <laughs> even though I think uh, his channel or he announced his own death about over a year ago or more probably about over a year ago now came back on made a video and he's saying well it's the, really the death of his channel not him <laughs> interesting I'll well, just uh, I know that basically there's some tremendous um, things going on at the moment that most people are in denial about them even though there's a lot of evidence um, there's some out of this world activities are going on I'm not just talking about um, people be getting saved uh, the gospel being preached and souls coming to salvation which we of course never hear about uh, in any type of media whether it be uh, the truthers or whether it be the mainstream media you just don't hear people um, giving testimonies about um, salvation in the Lord um, America being a, of course a Christian country um, and so of course you know artists like Aviad Cohen in the past um, you know you had Jewish artists who, who came to faith in Jesus Christ some of them um, ended up probably going to Catholic churches just as a few Muslims actually do which, which doesn't say that it's a false conversion but the, yes they've certainly been misdirected uh, definitely say that recently watched a video uh, that um, in the Catholic Church they actually tested the so called unleaven bread which is in a circle and you know in a sun disc cookie uh, format and there was actually human flesh found in it just just as they, they tested some McDonald's meals Happy Meals human flesh found in it and so it just seems that what's going on in this world you know the governments um, have sold out quite, quite a long time ago and it seems to be that uh, you know the reports of just what's happening just seems to be almost too depressing for, for people certainly in Britain to discuss um, because I guess you know we're bombarded with our religious past which people are trying to break loose from religion but uh, they're finding nothing I don't think that you can't find happiness without God um, you can't I don't necessarily think you can get happiness through religion but religion should teach you something about God and the fact that you, you need a saviour hopefully that if, if it's any type of religion that, that you should get that feeling that you need salvation and unless you seek that salvation and uh, certainly pray about who Jesus Christ is then uh, you're always going to be running from that truth and I guess all of those uh, things which we see happening today which many people call curses um, probably will befall those who have rejected God and his, his son Jesus Christ that's not to say there's a lot in denial in the Christian church today and um, it's just Jesus said to look warm rather you be hot or cold look warm is of uh, no interest to God or to anyone so uh, I guess a lot of uh, pre-tribulation rapturists would say that the the lukewarm Christians would definitely go through the tribulation and so on which I feel we're in the start of the tribulation just now I, I definitely do um, I know most of my Christian peers here in Scotland would disagree with me uh, many of them are just new converts but, but they think uh, even though they've had no revelation from the Lord about these things they, they still feel pretty sure that there's uh, a bit of time left let's hope, let's hope there is I would love there to be a lot of time left. I don't. I don't want all things to end. But um, you know. and it, 
it's not as if um, we as Christians born again Christians. Like we don't want the world to end. We want God to extend His grace to as many people as possible. Uh, we want God to use us to preach the gospel. We want to see people being healed. Yes, but most of all, come to the Lord. Uh, and it's all, it's all to do with love, but sometimes we have to show tough love to people. Um, and that, that's just a fact. Otherwise, people will just be lost. Um, if, if you don't show, his tough love is still love. Um, you know, when Jesus says, I will spit you out of your mouth, it doesn't sound like a uh, type of love you'd find in a church. But it is, it is tough love. It is God warning you that, look, this is not acceptable to him. He's a holy and righteous God. If you're playing around uh, with, with, with church, God's not accepting that. I mean, never mind Satan. Never mind what, what he's capable of or um, all of that stuff or what he's doing in the earth. All the terrible things we're seeing happening. Um, but fear God and keep his commandments. That's, that's what the Bible teaches. Most Christians will reject that. They'll say, no, don't fear God. And by the way, um, we love God, but also... Uh, we don't want to keep his commandments, which is the opposite of what the Bible teaches. Even if you say you're loving God, Jesus says, those who love me keep my commandments. So it doesn't matter how you, which way you look at it. If you fear God, you've got to keep his commandments. Jesus says, if you love God, you keep his commandments. <laughs> so there's, there's no way out of that at all. Um, hallelujah. So... What can you say about that? The most important thing is, of course, uh, Yeshua, that we can't, cannot keep his commandments without, without his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, without Yeshua the Messiah. We can't do it. You can try to do it by the letter, but um, it's, it's not going to be pleasing enough to God. You're going to be in that lukewarm category. Even if you're trying to keep all the commandments in the flesh, you, you've got to be filled with God's spirit. It's very, very important. Um, that you must be filled with uh, with God's spirit. Hallelujah.